Hello everyone, Daniel here from the Next Issue Podcast. On today's video, we'll be doing a review for The Last Mermaid, number one. This is a new book from Image Comics. Let's take a look at the creative team here. Uh, this book is written with story and art by Derek Kurt Kim. Uh, so one single individual working on the whole book. This is, as you can see from the cover, uh, the dimensions of the pictures. This is a magazine size book. So if you're into that, I think you're really going to enjoy how much of the art we get to expand on. Uh, let me give you a quick synopsis for this. In this book, a lone mermaid roams an endless wasteland on a quest beyond reason to press ever onward. She must survive the interminable uh, stretches between tiny pockets of water, the roaming bands of cybernetic cannibals, and fearsome mutant beasts. What propels her forward to take on such a risk? Uh, this is one of the coolest post-apocalyptic concepts I've seen in a long time. Um, we have this mermaid that kind of lives in this little water bubble. Uh, and at the beginning of the book, we see this as um, a little bit of a like a vehicle that's kind of in the desert. But as we move on, as you can see from the cover, it's actually like a mech kind of vehicle. So that's really cool. Like overall, that's just an amazing concept. We also have a running clock, which we'll see, like, you know, her, her water needs to be refreshed in, inside because she is a mermaid. Uh, she's got a little friend, uh, an axolotl, I believe it's called, uh, which is adorable. Uh, and then, of course, the the art, even though this type of art is not my favorite for a book, it is something to behold. So let me pull up, uh, let me pull up some of the preview art here. And I just want you to, like... These the first two pages are a two page splash, uh, so you can see how beautiful the artist is taking advantage of the extra room because of the format, uh, and then just the shots introducing our main character. There's not a lot of dialogue throughout the first issue, so you can you could probably go through it very quickly, but you I think you really want to take your time and enjoy the art. I also love the contrast of the colors, um, especially the color palette of like everything outside in this like desert barren land and then as you go into the tank of course uh it's very different right more of a cool green tones um as i mentioned there is a running clock in our story because she's running out of time with the with the water toxicity levels rising um so you know there's a lot of questions that still need to be answered but i think this is a beautiful beautiful setup for uh for our first book uh, and also, how did she get this mech suit? Like, I just want to know. I want to know everything. I want to know more about this mermaid. So uh, very excited to have read this. Um, uh, if you want to hear a little bit more, you can check out my friends over at the I Read Comic Books podcast. Mike talked about this in the latest episode. I'll drop a link in the description for that. Uh, so if you have read this, let me know what you thought about it. Down in the comments, as always, thank you for watching. Everyone, remember to share, like, subscribe, hit the bell so you know when we go live. That is most Saturdays, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. Stay tuned. We have more comic reviews, trailer reactions, TV recaps, all that fun stuff here in the channel. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.